Hey guys, we're going to continue our division unit and work with equal groups and remainders. On our learning scale, we hope to be around a 2, which means that our learning goal is to be able to find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using the following strategies equations, rectangular arrays, and aerial area models. Let's go ahead and get started. It's important to remember that we're keeping our work as we go. If you have 23 cookies, you have four plates. Each plate has the same number of cookies. How many cookies are on each plate and how many cookies do you have left over? It's important that we pull out our division problem and write it down. We're doing 23 divided by 4. We've been talking a lot about using our multiplication facts to help us with division. And we're going to continue using that. In your head, I want you to ask yourself, okay, four times what gives me 23? Hopefully we realize that four times nothing exactly will give us 23. So we're going to try and figure out what's the closest I can get to 23 without going over. Now is a great time to write down your multiples of four. Hopefully we can remember um, that four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four is 16, four times five is 20, Four times six is 24. Oh, we just went over our cookie limit, so let's back it up to four times five, which gives us 20. And that's as close to 23 as we can get without going over. We need to now figure out how many would be left over. It's a great idea to use um, a model to help us with this. We're going to break apart our four plates. We're going to break apart our cookies on our four plates in groups of five. So we're going to go ahead and circle five cookies. We have one group, we have two groups, we have three groups, and we have four groups. We have these three lone little cookies left over. Don't worry, they have a special name and they are called, they are what we call a remainder. So when solving a division problem that doesn't give you an exact answer, it's okay because we solve it and we give it a remainder. So we have a remainder of three, since there are one, two, three cookies that didn't fit perfectly into another group. So we simply answer 23 divided by 4 by saying 20 with a remainder of 3. Let's move on. It will get better. Go ahead and erase this, and let's move on to our next problem. Again, don't forget to cube. We have 32 dog biscuits. We have seven dog bowls. Each dog bowl gets the same number of biscuits. How many dog biscuits are in each bowl, and how many do you have left over? Again, it's important to bring down that division problem, 32 divided by 7. Let's figure it out. Again, now's a good time to think about your multiples of 7. 7 times 1 gives me 7. 7 times 2 gives me 14. 7 times 3 gives me 21. 7 times 4 gives me 28. 7 times 5 gives me 35. Whoops, a little bit too far over. Let's back up to 7 times 4, which gave me 28. We're going to now put our dog biscuits into groups of seven. We should have four groups of seven according to our math fact, and then we'll figure out how many we have left over. We have one group, we have two groups, we have three groups, we have four groups. How many do we have left over? One, two, three, four. What do we call those? We call that a remainder. So the answer to our problem of 32 divided by 7, the quotient rather, would be 28 with a remainder, you can do R for short, of 4. We have one more to do together before you practice it on your own. All right, let's do our last one together. You have 45 cherries, 
you have six bowls. Each bowl gets the same number of cherries. How many cherries are in each bowl and how many were left over? Let's go ahead and pull out our division problem, which is 45 divided by six. Again, let's work up with our math facts and figure out what's the closest I can get to 45 using my multiples of six without going over. You know that six times one is six. We know that six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. We know that six times four is 24. We know that six times five is 30. Six times six is 36. Six times seven is 42. Six times eight is 48. Well, hold up. We just passed our number of cherries. So what's the closest I can get to 45 with using six? Let's remember that six times seven equals 42. So that's as close as I can get. We're now going to group our cherries to see how many we're going to have left over. We're going to do six groups of seven. This might get a little messy counting these cherries, but I'm going to do my best to keep it organized. We have one group. We have two groups. We have three groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have four. And we have six. We have our six groups of seven. What happens to these three little cherries left over? Not to worry, remember, because they are called remainders. My leftovers are called my remainders. They're what remains. So when we are solving 45 divided by six, our quotient would be seven with a remainder. And again, you can just write R of three leftover cherries. Um, you're going to do this problem once I erase my last problem's work. You're going to be doing this problem for homework with these super cute fish and also you will be working with this problem about the birds. Have a great night. Don't forget to dress up for homecoming day tomorrow.